Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. We're seeing some beautiful conditions here in Metro Detroit after a very cold start to this morning. A few places having some frost this morning, and that could be an issue later on tonight at the ballpark, Comerica Park. Things looking very good as people are out there cheering on the Lions or the Tigers, I should say. Now, temperatures coming in at 62 in Pontiac. We're currently at 66 in the city of Detroit. Those temperatures near normal. They will be tumbling later on tonight. Sustained winds right now around 5 to 10 miles per hour as you get into the Detroit area. A little bit higher as you get farther toward the north and toward the south. So Monroe, those winds sustained at 14 miles per hour. Gusts have been a little bit higher, closer to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Again, those winds coming out of the northwest. Satellite and radar showing that we are pretty much clear of cloud cover. We have a lot of sunshine out there. A few clouds, partly cloud conditions as you get over into the thumb. Now looking toward the south, Hurricane Milton, it has weakened some, but it is still a major hurricane at category three strength, 125 mile per hour sustained winds. It is on track to hit the Tampa Bay region or just to the south places such as Sarasota. They could be impacted as early as 10 o'clock sometime in a window of 10 o'clock to midnight. So again, 125 mile per hour winds movement to the northeast at 17 miles per hour. Again, we're expecting landfall potentially as early as 10 o'clock. It is going to be moving across the state, maintaining hurricane strength even as it goes back out over to the Atlantic. It is going to be lashing the east coast of Florida as well with hurricane strength winds. Now we are seeing the storm surge potential in the Tampa Bay region as high as maybe nine to 10 feet as you get down toward the south Bradenton area. We could see that in excess of 12 feet. Some places may be as high as 15 feet. Clouds radar forecast here in Metro Detroit. We are mostly clear. A few clouds in the northern portions of southeast Michigan. As you get into the thumb, it is going to be a clear night and that means temperatures are going to drop. As we get into tomorrow, it is mostly sunny for most of the area, but again, some cloud cover hugging the shoreline community, especially as you get over toward Lake Huron. We will have beautiful conditions, a pleasant stretch besides the cold weather over the next few days. Now, the temperatures that we have out there tonight, about 42 degrees at Metro Airport, but as you get farther away to the west and the north, those temperatures dropping down into the 30s and some of us getting down into the lower 30s. Now, those are the readings that you would expect where the temperature is measured a little bit higher, about five feet as you get lower down to the ground, those temperatures can drop even more down to freezing. For that reason, frost advisory starting at 2 in the morning, going through 9 in the morning for Genesee, Lapeer, Livingston, Oakland, Washtenaw, and you might even get a couple of areas as you get into Satellite County, maybe like the western portions farther away inland. Now, here's what we're going to be seeing out there. 63 degrees tomorrow for that high. Mostly sunny. It is pleasant. Winds out of the north around 5 miles per hour. We get into the next few days, so temperatures will be cooling on down all the way into the 50s. We have a chance of rain beginning as we get into our Saturday with a couple of droplets out there. And Sunday, a better chance of showers out there, Karen.